Hey, fun science users. So let's assume that you have purchased a domain through Namecheap. So if you want to set up your custom domain to point to phone sites for your site that you've set up, it's pretty simple. All you're gonna to have to do is, for one thing, you're gonna put in your custom domain into the custom domain section of the config tab in phone sites. So let's just go ahead and add that in there now. So this is just a domain that I bought recently. I'm not really doing anything with it. I'm just gonna plug it into this old funnel that I created like a year ago. So let's go ahead, go ahead and save that. Go ahead and grab this IP address that is displayed here in phone sites whenever you've added in a custom domain. So you just, you click right into that and it's gonna copy it for you. You don't even have to like highlight this and copy it just by simply clicking into it, we'll copy it for you. So you've got that copied. Now go over to Namecheap. And in Namecheap, navigate over to the advanced DNS section for your domain. Okay, and let's add a, an A record. So first of all, I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete these two records. I don't need these. So let's go ahead and delete that, delete it, delete it. And then, it, okay, so it's gonna automatically add those back. We gotta, I guess, delete those after we add in our A record. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's select actions, sorry, uh, add new record, select a record, and then in the host field, so this is the host field, you're gonna put in the at symbol, and so that's on your keyboard, that's the, uh, that's the symbol right above the, the number two. And then for value, you, this is where you're gonna put in that phone site's IAP address that we just copied back over here, right? So add that in the value field, and you can leave this as automatic, and then just select the little green check here to save our changes. And then once this is highlighted as green, we're good. We can go ahead and delete these other two records here. So let's delete that. Delete, yes. Delete, yes. Okay, so now, now that we have this saved over here in phone sites, if we were to go to chrismacoy.com, I would see whatever page I have here listed as uh, downpaymentquiz.phonesites.com, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and try, and I think it's just a, my homepage with like nothing in it, right? Okay, so I would expect, when I go to chris-mccoy.com, I would expect to see a page that looks just like this over here where it says your awesome headline, your name, email address, and let's go. So let's go ahead and try this out. And keep in mind, you might actually, you wanna try this out probably on a different device or in a different browser. Uh, I'm gonna go into incognito mode here real quick. Actually, I'm not gonna do incognito mode just because uh, the screen capture recording software that I'm using <laughs> won't actually record what I'm doing in incognito mode. So let's, let's do this. Let's go into Safari and we'll test it there. That way you can see this. Okay, so as I had expected, Here's our page, right? Now, if you wanna set up the www subdomain, uh, so that way if someone goes to my site and they type in www, we wanna set up a, uh, a record, a forwarding record, um, to prevent them from finding this 404 error. Whenever you've landed on a page and it's broken, um, or it seems to be broken, um, you're gonna get a 404 error, and this is what you're seeing right here. In some cases, it might show for phone site sites. It may show, um, we may have the 404 error go back to the phone sites page. So this might actually be what you'd see, right? Might actually take you back to our page. So you don't want this, right? You want your prospects to go to your site. So you, what you've got to do is you have to set up a record back in Namecheap to handle the www subdomain. All right, so let's go ahead and set this up. So let's go over to domain. And then under domain, we're gonna to go to, it's under redirect domain, so scroll down the page here, and then select add wildcard redirect. And basically what this is gonna say is that if you set this up, anything that's gonna be um, placed in front of your domain is gonna redirect back to your site. So like if, even if it was like www.chrismccoy.com, or if it was like, uh, you know, go.chrismccoy.com, both those are gonna redirect over to chrismccoy.com. Basically, we're just trying to prevent someone from getting a 404, right? So let's go ahead and put in HTTPS. And then I can go ahead and select the green symbol here. 
All right, so now let's go ahead and test this out. Let's. This might not have pro propagated across the internet yet, just because it might take up to an hour. But let's go ahead and test this out. Let's see if this will work out. So it's a little slow just for a second because again, we just set this up. The records are propagating across the internet. My browser is perhaps having a, a cached version of uh, before where this was not set up. So while that's waiting, let's go back over to Safari and try this too. Okay, so it's not showing up there, but again, we're waiting on this propagated uh, record, this redirect domain. We're waiting on this to finalize. I'm going to actually try this tool that I have over here called GeoPeaker. And let's see what this looks like on some servers across the globe. So let's test this out. So some servers across the globe are starting to pull this up, uh, others are not, uh, but give it give it time, right? Because again, it can take up to an hour for this to finish propagating.